Hello everybody, my name is Nicola and welcome back to my channel. This is the Fuga Cottage where we talk all things money to help you on your financial journey. Today's video is another cash envelope stuffing video for you. In fact, it's the last one of January. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. So yes, it's the last week of January. Can you believe that? How has your month been so far? How is it looking on paper? Let me know in the comments below how you're finding it so far. I'll admit I found it a bit weird it's becoming I feel like a bit more tough I feel like this third lockdown is is much more difficult than the other two and I don't know if that's because the weather's not great or I'm seeing even less people I don't know I'm just finding it slightly more tough at the moment but as always I'm trying to keep the things the same and that's mainly because it helps me from day to day just continue the same routines and to not kind of over complicate things hence why I'm still using my cash envelopes at the moment Obviously, some people might not feel comfortable using cash envelopes, but this is a system that keeps me on track. Now, as always, I will leave the link below to the binder and the envelopes. They're just from Amazon. And yeah, so let's get started. So these are my cash envelopes for the following. So the first thing I need to do is I need to take everything out of them. So if you've seen that, if you've watched my channel, you'll know that I'm doing a different challenge. So I'm emptying these every week and there are some there are kind of ones with money left in so there's nothing in the food envelope and there's nothing in the petrol envelope to take out miscellaneous is 14 pound left in there so i'll just take that out for now look two two pound coins i can't remember the last time i got two pound coins but there we go so that's taken out of there children's envelope has 20 pounds in i see i said last week i probably wouldn't touch that and i was right so that gets taken out and eating out is empty there you see that that it's empty so they are the five cash envelopes that i have that we use week in week out and now that they are, are all empty we can get started so i'll just put them back the inserts i've got a couple of messages about these the inserts i just made on a design program and just cut them out and stick them in there um i keep meaning to offer these as a product on my etsy store but i'm not entirely sure whether most people would be interested in those so if you would be interested in something like that so you'd purchase the envelope with the thing inside, let me know in the comments below. But anyway, so we've got five cash envelopes. I've now taken that spare money out, that's over there, that goes in a different pot. So food this week, I feel like I'm gonna say the same numbers every single time I do this, but our budget from week to week doesn't really change. I like to keep things the same, I like to keep things similar. If I know that there's something on, then that's when the budget changes. But from week to week, our budget is fairly similar and kind of fairly boring like it's not exciting but it's exciting to me because I'm keeping myself on track and I'm beginning to see the efforts of that pay off in other areas of our financial journey so food this week is going to be 60 pound that's the same as always now I don't think I'm going to do kind of any kind of extra top up I know it's the end of the month this week and sometimes I tend to try and buy a bit more in the last week to kind of roll it over does that make sense I don't think I intend to this week. I think I just intend to keep it the same as always. I am finding that uh, because we're now at home and like homeschooling and working from home, snacks are disappearing much more quickly than they would do before. So I need to keep an eye on that. I might need to buy slightly more of those, but that shouldn't have a massive impact on the budget overall. So I'm going to put £60 in the food envelope. 20, 40, 60. So £60 goes in there. So this is for a family of four and it kind of does come for me. I have got an e-course, it's called Reduce Your Food Spend. I'll leave a link below to that if you want to check that out. It goes through so many different options about how to reduce your food spend and how to kind of get that under control and I am doing a bit of a revamp of it at the moment so there are kind of new things being added. But I'll leave a link below to that if you want to check that out. But this is the food envelope, so the £60 has gone in there for the week ahead the next one is petrol so last week i didn't put anything in the petrol envelope at all so it was empty because again because i'm working from home we're not doing anywhere near as kind of much mileage on the car so the petrol is lasting longer which is a, is a bonus to working from home but i'm going to put 20 pound in here this week it is kind of getting fairly low now so it does need that bit of an injection of petrol in there so i put 20 pound so I'd normally if you watch these so well i'd normally put in 30 pound but we're just not going anywhere so it doesn't seem like it doesn't seem um, any point in putting any more in at the moment and we'll just keep it as £20 in the petrol envelope for the time being and we'll see. 
Miscellaneous, so this is household things, cat things, general life things, anything that doesn't fit in any of these others. And this is the same as always, so again, I don't feel like, so this week I kind of took the £14 out of the miscellaneous, I didn't really spend very much in the end. I feel like this week might be the same, but I'm going to put £20 in here for now anyway and just see what that goes. And if there's loads left at the end, then obviously I will kind of transfer that over to the other savings challenge. And I'll leave a link below to that savings challenge if you have no idea what I'm talking about. But that's £20 that goes into the miscellaneous envelope. So £20 goes in there. Then the final two, so there's children eating out. So the children's envelope hasn't been touched now for a couple of weeks and I knew this would be the case. Um, so I think I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reduce it slightly and then kind of maybe put more in their school holidays or school sinking funds that way that when we can finally ever do anything again in life, then I'll have that money there then to be able to do things with them and treat them to things and stuff like that. So that being said, I'm gonna put 10 pound in the children's budget for this week. So that goes in here. So I'd normally put £20 in, but it's just been not it's just not touched every time, so it just seems a bit daft just to keep putting it on there. This is why a budget like this works so well because you can be flexible, you can change it so that different envelopes have different amounts in. If you don't need them to be so much, you can kind of reduce it, or if you feel like you're going overboard on one of them every week, you can then increase the amount to suit your kind of financial spending habits if you like so there's 10 pounds gone in the children's envelope and then eating out so I, you can tell i'm not doing my no spend yet anymore i've kind of got into a little habit so when we get to that friday and you know my my five-year-old is, is now at home as well um we kind of go for a little uh, treat at costa because we've made it through the week and you can tell that i'm not doing my no spend yet because i would not have done that at all but it's kind of it's just me and him because the younger one is going to nursery and it's kind of a little treat on a friday so for the moment i'm okay with that it is expensive though so i think maybe in february we won't do it uh, every friday because i'm not i didn't want to get in the habit of that and i feel like i've got in the habit of that already if that makes sense one of my no spend year rules was to not have takeaway coffee because i was going all the time and I can see how easily that habit is to getting back into already so I need to watch that but for this final week in January I'm okay with having that in there so I'm going to put another £10 in the eating out envelope. That also means that I've gone over budget with our eating out budget this week and, and, and not, even, not even just this week just this month even um, but that's okay I'm well aware of that and I'm okay with that at the moment but it's not going to continue into next month I need to kind of rein it in a bit but he really likes that little me you know we go to the drive through and he gets to say hello to the people uh, on the window because again because he's at home as well he's not really seeing anybody else either so it's just it's just those little things those little like extra bits and I'm okay with that for now so there's £10 in the eating out £10 in children £20 in miscellaneous £20 in petrol and £60 in food and they are my five cash envelopes for the final week in January. How are you doing? How are you getting on? Let me know down below in the comments. I love to hear from people who are using the same system or maybe you're not using this, maybe you're using a different system. Let me know. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you're staying safe. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again very soon.